So I'm back to learning some more flute. So if you're new here, my name is Ethan Ashley, and I'm now a junior at the University of Texas at Austin as a music education student at the Butler School of Music. In terms of courses, I've now finished up the piano classes, the theory classes, and the aural skills and ear training coursework. Very happy to be done with that. It was a long haul for sure. I'm now getting into more of the music education classes, like conducting like child development, and then also like learning the secondary instruments, woodwind techniques and brass techniques, that sort of thing. In past semesters, I have taken one-on-one -on -one lessons on secondary instruments. That's also part of the degree, and you can sort of put those in wherever you want. I've taken flute and clarinet. My goal is to sort of take those one-on-one -on -one lessons on all of the different woodwinds, just so I can be more of a woodwind specialist. Last spring, so my second semester sophomore year, I took the flute one-on-one um, -on -one lessons with the flute TA here. Great experience. I'd never played flute before. It was really hard. I actually made a video about that. I'll link it up here. It really opened my eyes into what flute players have to do, and it's, it's nothing like the saxophone. Anyways, now I've started taking a woodwind technique class where all of the music ed majors that are wind players go into a classroom. We are all given a different instrument for half the semester, so I was assigned the flute. Everyone was assigned either saxophone, flute, or clarinet, and I obviously feel great about saxophone. Clarinet was pretty similar to the saxophone, but I've already learned that. So I'm glad that they stuck me on flute. Hopefully towards the second half of the semester, I get put on like oboe or bassoon or something like that. This Woodman Techniques class is more about how you're gonna be teaching the sixth grade beginners and, and such, um, someone who's never touched an instrument before and going through the teaching aspects of it as well as just the very fundamental um, aspects of playing the flute. I took the summer off from playing flute since I, I didn't really even have one. These are school instruments, so we just rent them out and turn them back in. But it's been really nice to dive into the fundamentals of how to build the embouchure, where your air should be going, how to put together the instrument in the, the correct way is also just the, those fundamental things that are gonna be really helpful for when I one day might be teaching this instrument. So far, most of my focus has been just on the small piece or the head joint, just rebuilding that embouchure that I that I once knew and also getting my aperture a lot more closed. We've been closing the end, opening the end. A lot of my work has been with a mirror, but we'll see how this goes. If you watched my flute video last semester, you can probably tell that that is a way fuller and nicer sound than I ever got last semester. That's one of the, the things we're focusing on right now is if you're making a good sound, you're probably doing all the right things. I'm trying to get my mile wide aperture um, a lot smaller. One of my biggest issues and problems that I've been having is making sure to keep my lower lip relaxed and over at least a third or a quarter of the, the tone hole. The second I think about that, keeping my, my lower lip relaxed and pushed forward a little bit more, the, the sound gets a lot more focused and it's a lot more clear. Again, most of my work over the last two weeks of, of this class has just been on the small piece slash head joint. I start every day making sounds on this and once I get a good sound here and I'm getting more consistent with the placement of it without using a mirror, then I'll move on to the actual instrument. We've pretty much been staying to just concert F so far. I'm finding that it's way more fun than it was last semester just because I'm using my air more more precisely and I'm not running out of air and feeling faint all the time. Progress is progress and even though I took a little bit of a break, that was probably good. I'm really happy to be back with this thing. The class is going great so far. I hope that I can keep you guys more updated with, with what I'm doing in terms of secondary instruments. If you find videos like this helpful or entertaining, please let me know down below in the comments. Like I said, I'll try and keep you guys more updated with what I'm doing in terms of the, the music ed program. And if that's something that interests you on a greater level, the, the music ed program here, and, and what I'm doing exactly, then I can make a lot more videos about that. Just let me know down below. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you next video. Peace.